My name is Prakash Jay Balan and I'm a clinician scientist. In my career, uh, I'm a translational researcher and what I do is that I see that clinical problem in my clinic, I take that clinical problem to the lab and then develop a research solution to that clinical problem. Concussions are a significant problem uh, from a public health perspective. Approximately 1.6 to 3.8 million people in the United States are reported to sustain a concussion in a yearly basis. This study was a retrospective chart review of 128 students that fulfilled our inclusion criteria. What we found in our study is that the general student population at a collegiate institution actually had a prolonged duration of symptoms compared to that which is cited nationally. On average length of a concussion in the adult uh, population tends to be around 7 to 14 days. In our study, it was approximately 18 days. The second major finding of our study was that duration of symptoms was different in different subsets of the population. If we break down the student population into their level of sporting activity, we actually found that varsity level athletes had a significantly shorter duration of symptoms, almost two weeks shorter than the general student population. And that's also important because it suggests that maybe the collegiate student is still going through that maturity of the brain that potentially is also impacting the duration of symptoms, or the collegiate students have a number of pressures in terms of academic rigors of the institution that is also meaning that they aren't following the recommendations of their treating physician or they're having difficulty following those as well. This is the first study to outline the outcome of concussion in a collegiate student population. So the next step in this research is really to look at things prospectively. That includes uh, an educational program for students. We'd also like to look at our resources for the entire uh, campus-wide population in terms of concussions. I think the, the big takeaway uh, from this study is to treat every student as an individual. There may be some students that potentially require increased resources, require checking in on them every day. And just because they're not a varsity level athlete doesn't mean that they don't need that. And this study speaks to the fact that we may need to highlight which one of those individuals require those extra resources and potentially we can provide those in our management.